Theme. Every party needs a pooper. Item. Air horn. Character. A journalist looking to view a strange subset of humanity in its natural habitat. Place. Junkyard. Plot tread. The weather cancels the main character's plans. Genre. Mockumentary. Q theme. Alright, we open with Jana, telling us that she's going to a junkyard to explore a strange subset of humanity known as pizza delivery customers, and she explains that they are quickly taking over the population of America. It's Independence Day, and she wants us to observe the audacity of the customers who would order pizza instead of making their own family dishes. The crew gets in the car and arrives at the Pizza Hut on the corner of Deuce and Brown Trail. We made it to the junkyard, she tells us and gets out of the car. When we arrive outside of the building, Jana asks the CSR to speak with the manager, and we're left waiting for a while. The CSR mentions that he has no idea where the manager went, and he's been looking for her for a long time. He needs to find her so that he can know what his prep is, but she just left and never came back. Eventually, she walks in the back door after about an hour or two of waiting. Jana asks if she can observe and fill the driver's interaction with customers. The manager makes a loud grunt and pulses her hands to the sky. Jana takes that as a yes and goes behind the counter. Jana asks the driver, James, how many customers he's delivered so far today. He tells her that he's only had one customer, and it's most likely because the delivery time is set to over three hours. James doesn't know why, but he guesstimates that it's because the manager on duty doesn't feel like working very hard. We go over and talk to the cook, who's prepping some pizzas. He tells us in broken English that he only knows Spanish. However, when Jana walks away, the cameraman captures him talking to James about Candy Crush arguably speaking better English than the manager. We hear some thunder, and after a few minutes, it starts to rain. Jana asks James if there will still be delivery, and James tells her that of course there will be. Jana pulls the camera guy aside and tells us that she doesn't care if there will be delivery or not. She's not driving with him while it's raining. The manager comes from the restroom after a few minutes and tells the crew that the toilet doesn't work. She pulls out a piece of paper from the printer, writes out of order on it with a sharpie, and tapes it to the door. After a few minutes, a large crowd of people come in. The crowd consists of adults, elders, and an enormous group of kids that had roughly the same headcount as the continent of Africa. They carry their boomboxes and sound their air horns. James isn't amused, but greets them with a smile. The party orders about 35 pizzas, and while the pizzas are baking, they get flustered that they're not ready yet. One of them walks into the restroom. We hear the sound of a toilet flushing, and the man with drenched shoes walks out. He marches up to the counter and tells James that he can't have his 4th of July party here if they don't even have a place to poop. James explains to him that they just put a note on the door, but the man says it doesn't matter. It's Independence Day, and he should be allowed to poop on a pooper that works. He gathers his family and goes home, just as the cook finishes the last pizza. All right, Michael, your challenge. Theme. You don't know Jack. He's a sweet guy. Item. A broken oboe. Place. Outside space. Character. Jimmy Twist. A time traveler from the late 2300s. Plot tread. The world begins to explode, and the galaxy's most valuable item is still there. Genre, sci-fi parody. Alright Michael, make it be wonderful.